Uh, so in this video we're going to look at uh, using the TVM mode on your graphics calculator. Uh, specifically we're going to use it for compound interest type questions. Um, the easy ones that you've already been doing and also some more difficult ones. So uh, I'm just going to jump straight into a question. We'll do it on a calculator so you can see how it works. Uh, so a question like this, Bob invests $5,000 at 7% per annum compounding yearly for five years. How much will he have at the end? Really straightforward here. We go into our menu option on our calculator. We go down to the TVM mode down here. We press enter. And then we choose F2 for compound interest. So we press the button here, F2. Okay, and you can see you've got a bunch of options down here. Now, just before I start using my calculator, I'm going to summarize this. Now, $5,000 was what he invested. So that's the present value of his investment, $5,000. 7% per annum compounding yearly. So that's our interest rate. Interest as a percentage, that's 7%. And N, that's five years. And of course, the answer that we want, we want to know what the future value of that investment is going to be. We don't know it at the moment. Okay, now I've summarized it, I can put it into my calculator. N. N stands for years, and we're going to put five years. Uh, sorry, I should, I should go back to that. N stands for number of periods. That's going to be really important. N stands for number of periods. So in this case, it is five. Okay, interest, we express it as a percentage here. So in your calculations, you might be doing 0 0.07. In this one, we say 7%. You can see it says a percent sign there. Now, the present value. This is where it gets a little bit strange on your calculator. You're taking money out of your pocket. You're grabbing your wallet. You're taking money out of it, and you're putting it in the bank. So the present value of that um, investment, or at least this is what your calculator thinks, is negative $5,000 because it's money leaving your, your pocket. Now, it's going to come back into your pocket at a later time. Um, it's going to come back later, and that's when it's going to be positive. So you minus $5,000, and then it'll come back, and you'll have more money than when you start. Okay, payment. We're going to leave that as zero. In term, um, probably term three, term four, you'll look at when the payments are, are changed, things like home loans and stuff. But for now, and all the questions you're going to do, payment's going to be zero. And then future value, we don't know it. So we'll just leave that as zero. We're going to find it out in a minute. Now the last two, you need to be careful here. Now this says payments per year and compounding periods per year. And this is where this word in the question is important. Compounding yearly. Okay, so if it's compounding yearly, it means that there's only going to be one... Oops back over here to my calculator, that means that there's only going to be one compounding period per year. And just for completeness, I like to put that in as well. So make sure they match up. They might be 1-1 one, one or 12-12, or if it's compounding weekly, it might be 52-52, whatever it is. Okay, last step. Uh, this calculator can actually allow you to find anything as long as you know three of the things. So if I want to know the future value, I just need to look along here, along the bottom, and then press the future value button. That's F5. And there's my answer. That's the end of it. Future value equals $7,012.76. All right. Uh, now, this also allows you to solve a type of question that you haven't been able to solve before. So I'm just going to do one of those really quickly. Okay, so this question is as pretty much as complicated as it gets. So uh, take your time, think about what's going on here. All right, question. Bob invests $4,000. How long will it take to have $7,000 if the bank is paying 6% compounding monthly? So important pieces of information here. Now, I'm going to draw my little thing like I did before, present value, interest as a percentage, N, and future value. And then I'm just going to fill those things in. Now, the present value is what you invest. That's $4,000. The interest rate 
is 6%. And it's always expressed in uh, interest rate per year. Now, N. This is a trick question here. We don't know it. Okay, we don't know N, but we'd like to know it. And future value, 7,000. Okay, so let's go through this step by step. N, we don't know it. So I'm just going to write zero there. Interest rate, it's 6%. Present value, minus $4,000. Remember, you're going to put it in the bank. So you ba your calculator needs it to be as a negative. Payments, you're not making any payments. The future value is going to be $7,000. And then this bit. Okay. Payments per year, compounding periods per year. And that's where this bit's important. It says compounding monthly. The, the money is, is compounding monthly. So it's going to have to be 12 times per year. And just for completeness, I like to put 12 in there as well. So those should match. Okay, now let's look at the answer. Oh, sorry, I want to know N, so I click the F1 for the N button. Okay, it says 112. Now that seems strange because that's a really long time. But the N, remember, is number of periods. Number of periods. And the periods were compounding monthly. So that 112 actually means 112 months. You guys can figure out how many years that is by dividing it by 12, but it's about 9 something. Alright, um, that is using your graphics calculator, the TVM mode, uh, to solve compound interest questions. Alright, thanks a lot guys.